Civilization begins with order, grows with liberty, and dies with chaos. Disinterested intellectual curiosity is the lifeblood of real civilization. A study of history shows that civilizations that abandon the quest for knowledge are doomed to disintegration. Civilization is artifice. To be natural within it is a supreme affectation. A decent provision for the poor is the true test of civilization. We may have civilized bodies and yet barbarous souls. The story of civilization is, in a sense, the story of engineering, that long and arduous struggle to make the forces of nature work for man's good. Speech is civilization itself. The word, even the most contradictory word, preserves contact. It is silence which isolates. Civilization advances by extending the number of important operations which we can perform without thinking about them. Next to the striking of fire and the discovery of the wheel, the greatest triumph of what we call civilization was the domestication of the human male. If a nation expects to be ignorant and free, in a state of civilization, it expects what never was and never will be. On this planet, a great number of civilizations have perished in blood and horror. We believe that civilization has been created under the pressure of the exigencies of life at the cost of satisfaction of the instincts. The principal task of civilization, its actual raison d'etre, is to defend us against nature. Primitiveness and civilization are degrees of the same thing. If civilization has an opposite, it is war. Of these two things, you have either one or the other, not both. The three great elements of modern civilization gunpowder, printing, and the Protestant religion. Never despise the translator, he is the mailman of human civilization. The bourgeoisie, by the rapid improvement of all instruments of production, by the immensely facilitated means of communication, draws all, even the most barbarian, nations into civilization. Theory of the true civilization. It is not to be found in gas or steam or table turning. It consists in the diminution of the traces of original sin. America is the only nation in history which miraculously has gone directly from barbarism to degeneration without the usual interval of civilization. As I write, highly civilized human beings are flying overhead, trying to kill me. The clock, not the steam engine, is the key machine of the modern industrial age. Since the general civilization of mankind, I believe there are more instances of the abridgment of freedoms of the people by gradual and silent encroachment of those in power than by violent and sudden usurpations. 
Western civilizations these days place great importance on filling the human brain with knowledge, but no one seems to care about filling the human heart with compassion. A great civilization is not conquered from without until it has destroyed itself within. The essential causes of Rome's decline lay in her people, her morals, her class struggle, her failing trade, her bureaucratic despotism, her stifling taxes, her consuming wars. The fact is that civilization requires slaves. The Greeks were quite right there. Unless there are slaves to do the ugly, horrible, uninteresting work, culture and contemplation become almost impossible. Human slavery is wrong, insecure and demoralizing. On mechanical slavery, on the slavery of the machine, the future of the world depends. The greatest task before civilization at present is to make machines what they ought to be, the slaves, instead of the masters of men. And if civilization fails at the task, then without doubt it and its makers will go down to a common destination. Our civilization is still in a middle stage, scarcely beast, in that it is no longer wholly guided by instinct, scarcely human, in that it is not yet wholly guided by reason. The skylines lit up at day of night, the air conditioning systems cooling empty hotels at the desert and artificial light in the middle of the day all have something both demented and admirable about them. The mindless luxury of a rich civilization and yet of a civilization perhaps as scared to see the lights go out as was the hunter in his primitive night. The word civilization to my mind is coupled with death. When I use the word, I see civilization as a crippling, thwarting thing, a stultifying thing. For me, it was always so. I don't believe in the golden ages. You see, Civilization is the arteriosclerosis of culture. We are like ignorant shepherds living on a site where great civilizations once flourished. The shepherds play with the fragments that pop up to the surface, having no notion of the beautiful structures of which they were once a part. It is stupid of modern civilization to have given up believing in the devil, when he is the only explanation of it. The fate of human civilization will depend on whether the rockets of the future carry the astronomer's telescope or a hydrogen bomb. Every civilization that has ever existed has ultimately collapsed.